Hi everyone, this is going to be a day in my life vlog wherein I show you everything I do around the house. I am the kind of person who needs background noise when I'm working. So here I am switching on the TV to put on Modern Family on Netflix. It is my favorite show at the moment. First thing I do in the morning is pick out a fruit for the day, cut it and store it in a bowl. My husband and I snack on it the entire day. I made banana bread yesterday. My husband will eat this for breakfast, lunch and dinner. no matter how well i hide this from him but i will treat them as a treat well i will try and here is an overlook of what the kitchen looks like i've just made my morning tea and my husband's breakfast smoothie i'll cook the rajma in the cooker while i do my household chores for the day so that it saves me time while making lunch i'm making my smoothie i'm adding in some spinach some kale and some celery most of it is ending up on the floor a washed pear and some orange juice and uh, some hemp seeds some flax seeds and chia seeds All of these have a lot of fiber in so please do consider adding in some seeds into your diet and some sunflower seeds. And some water and I'm going to blend it. And wrestle with your blender like this to get it all blended. putting away things then and there is key to keep your space clean and uh, saves a lot of time as well in the long run use cloth pens to seal open packets like here i am doing uh, uh, with the sunflower seeds packet i always have a microfiber cloth underneath my stove to wipe my hands and a thick cotton cloth to dry all my dishes first i am going to put away all the dried clothes here i am showing you how to fold a fitted sheet If you live in a small apartment, be creative and use all the hidden spaces. Like I've used this space to store my drying rack. And from here on it's just going to be a cleaning montage and I hope this motivates you to clean your space as well. that anything more satisfying than a made bed i don't think so so it's a universal rule that if you have a messy space always start with your bed a made bed gives you enough motivation to clean your messy house i 
recently broke my duster and uh, here I am showing you the paint brush that I use instead and it does the job. When you're dusting, don't forget your baseboards because they get really dusty as well. Here I am showing you the bag that I'm going to be donating to charity. Always have a bag or a basket ready to put away all the things that you're not using so that you have a designated space to store all the things that you're going to be donating. Here you will get a sneak peek of my OCD when I'm trying to align my coffee table with the carpet. Now the living room is all clean so we can move on to the kitchen. Here I am prepping the kale that I've bought so it is ready for the breakfast smoothies and I've cut the pomegranate already. Here I am putting away some of the pomegranate in an airtight box so that my husband can take it away to work when he's home for lunch. This is a good way to stay healthy you guys because when you already have something fresh like this ready to eat you will always opt for this than a processed snack like a bag of chips or cookies etc. I finished my breakfast smoothie and I'm, and I'm not gonna lie and tell you this is the most delicious thing ever but it's not too bad either. Now let's do my least favorite thing which is dishwashing but someone has to do it so let's just get it done and please use gloves when you're when you don't have a dishwasher and you have to do it by hand please use gloves because it really protects your hands and keeps it soft if not you get those cracks which are really not that nice to deal with. It's only 11 o'clock and I've done all my morning chores and this rarely ever happens. Uh, now I'm gonna make lunch so I'm looking at my recipe book. This is how I store all my recipes in a happy planner so I'm gonna look for the recipe for the rajma and I will link the recipe down below which I'm following. I have made a few changes to it so let's start.
finished my first bottle of the day which is a 1 liter bottle please do drink at least 3 liters of water a day it really helps with if you have dark circles it really helps with your dark circles and it keeps your face glowing no expensive cream can do the magic that water does and I've made avocado parathas to go with the rajma. They were really simple to make. I just needed some chapati flour with mashed avocados, spring onions, coriander, cumin, salt and some ajwine. And the uh, funny fact about me is I really like cold parathas. Like I like cold pizzas as well. I don't know something about them. They are really better the next day. Today I did some shopping at the Asian market here. So here's the haul. I got some black sesame seeds, some split urad dal, some green sultanas, some moringa leaves and uh, some basin which is chickpea flour and some greens as well. And uh, mustard seeds, paneer, um, coriander, green chilies, curry leaves and some drumstick. I take off the stalks from my green chilies and I store them in the fridge and they last much longer and I take the stalks of the curry leaves as well and I store them in the freezer. They last really well in the freezer and I put some paper towel onto the coriander so that they don't get spoiled easily. Store your chapatis or your parathas wrapped up in an aluminium foil like this and they remain soft for much longer. Another important thing in an Indian kitchen is the idli dosa batter. Here I am grinding some dosa batter which is a savior during the weekdays because the dinners are sorted. I don't have the same recipe for idli and dosa batters so I use different recipes and uh, that's how the dosa becomes crispy and golden brown. If I use the idli batter for a dosa I don't get the same result. One tip here is always use raw rice for your dosas and they come out really crispy like you get in the restaurants. If you live in a cold place, one way to ferment your idli dosa batter is to leave them in the oven overnight with just the oven light on and they ferment really well. Sorry I don't have much footage from the evening, my husband was home from work. If you take one thing from this video, take this. Make spending quality time with your family your first priority. All your chores can wait. This time period of your life will never come back. So make memories that you can cherish later in your life. So I think that's enough with the free advice. Here is our dinner which was an easy pulav, leftover paratha and some rajma. This is how I leave the kitchen. Uh, before we go to bed. It took me two years to get into this habit and I think it has helped our mornings tremendously to start with a clean kitchen. Having little to nothing on my counters makes the cleaning so easy after dinner. It takes exactly 10 minutes to wipe everything. Um, so I hope you guys liked this vlog. If so, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another one. Until then, bye-bye.